Hello and welcome! So in the past few days I was talking to a lot of new players and they were wondering which are the best fighters in the game right now. So today we're gonna talk about the light fighters, but tomorrow and the day after tomorrow we're gonna talk about the medium and heavy fighters, so make sure you leave a subscribe. So yeah, let's cut straight to the chase. Hello, my name is Rumpy. So first off, let's go through some things that I think that are basic, but I mean, some people still don't understand them. So uh, light fighters are supposed to fight light fighters, or medium fighters, or even heavy fighters. They are not supposed to attack capital or sub-capital ships. So yeah, you're not gonna be able to take down an Idris, or a Hammerhead, or a Caterpillar, or anything like that, with a single little small fighter. But if you are skilled enough, you will be able to kill all of the light, medium and heavy fighters without any effort. So currently in the game we have a plethora of uh, small fighters or light fighters, if you will. But I have chosen three of them because they are pretty much the best fighters around. So let's start out with the smallest one of the bunch and that's gonna be the arrow. The arrow has two size 3 and two size 1 hard points as its primary armament. It has a single small shield and it can carry 12 size 1 missiles, which will deal 35,000 damage in total. It has the smallest cross section of all the small fighters, and if you go with the repeaters, which I suggest you do, the size 3 weapons are gonna carry 23 rounds per magazine, uh, if you wanna call it a magazine, and the size 1 weapons are gonna have 33 rounds per magazine. If you divert your power to the weapons, you're gonna have 27 rounds per size 3 gun and 39 rounds per size 1 gun. Now why is this important? Well solely because on paper the arrow can deal the most DPS in the game, which is gonna be 1680 DPS. But the whole salvo, so if you fire all the guns at the same time at the same targets and you empty your clips, it's gonna deal 5424 damage. So keep that in mind. Now the best thing about the arrow is that it has a really small cross section so it's really hard to hit it. So that's gonna be pretty much all of the defense you're gonna have against other players or NPCs that you're gonna fight. Cause uh, yeah, it's size 1 shield is not gonna stop anything. Uh, so yeah, on to the Gladius. Now the Aegis Gladius has 3 size 3 hard points, it has 2 size 1 shields, which is 1 shield more than the arrow, and it has a total amount of 16 missiles, or 16 size 1 missiles, that it can carry, which will deal 46,800 damage in total. Now it does have a slightly bigger cross section than the arrow, but it has a slightly better pitch, yaw and roll rates than the arrow. Now the maximum capacity of the magazines of the size 3 weapons on the Gladius is gonna be 26 rounds or 31 rounds if you divert your power to the weapons. Now on paper it has slightly less DPS than the arrow, which is gonna be 1500 DPS. But if you calculate the alpha damage, the total damage output of the Gladius is gonna be 5580 damage, which is gonna be 156 damage more than the arrow. Which basically means that if you can keep your aim on the enemy, you're gonna deal more damage with the Gladius than with the arrow. Now bear in mind that all of these numbers are gonna change at some point, so yeah, they're basically just placeholders and uh, it is what it is now. But yeah, let's talk about the Talon. The Spirit Talon was the favorite ship of PvPers in the last patch, but a lot has changed. It has two size 4 hard points and it can carry up to 8 size 1 missiles. Now you're probably wondering why am I constantly talking about size 1 missiles. Well, you should watch my video where I'm comparing all the missiles and you will understand why. 
So anyway, the size 1 missiles, the 8 size 1 missiles on the Talon can deal 23,000 damage total. Now here's the interesting thing, if you go for the size 4 repeaters on your Talon, which I suggest you do, you're gonna deal 1280 DPS, which is much less than the Arrow and the Gladius. And actually it will deal less damage than the Merlin, the snap fighter that comes with the Andromeda. Now if you divert your power to the weapons, you're gonna have 34 rounds per gun which in total will deal 5440 damage which is slightly less than the gladius and pretty much the same as the arrow but the talon is more maneuverable than the gladius and the arrow and it has two size one shields which is one more than the arrow of course so basically the gladius is the best fighter right well yes and no as I've said already, if you can aim pretty well, uh, all of them are gonna perform great. And it is just a question of taste, pretty much. Or a question of if you need a slightly better performing ship or a slightly smaller ship. So, yeah, it's pretty much a question of taste. Now, in the end, we have my favorite ship in the game, and it's gonna be the car to wall. Now, the car to wall is a great ship, it's really good looking, I really love it, but it's not really good in combat. Because all that charm and, like, verticality comes with a downside, and its main downside is that, like, its whole cross-section is the front section. So, if you're PvPing, I mean, you're such a big target that you're really hard to miss. Other than that, it doesn't have any missile racks, but it does have two size 4 heart points and two size 1 shields. And yeah, it's pretty much a Talon, but just larger and more janky, but eh, I love it. Uh, it performs really good. Uh, its pitch, yaw and roll rates are the best in the game currently. But it comes with a big cost because like your cross-section is so fucking big that you really need to be a good and experienced player to be efficient with the car to wall. So yeah, that is it for today guys. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, make sure you leave a subscribe because I'm gonna post a bunch of videos like this one is. And in one of the next videos I'm gonna touch upon the medium fighters and then I'm gonna go over the heavy fighters of course. Uh, my name is Grumpy Eye, thank you for watching. Don't forget to bring a towel when you're traveling through space and subscribe or I'll come to your house. And I'll cut your balls, i cut... Yeah, never mind. Uh, thank you for watching, bye!